and this is all that we need. Forensic scientists in the New York City Medical Examiner's Office give an unprecedented look at the tedious process of testing DNA from unidentified remains. And it will gradually grind those bones into a fine powder. It's the first time in the agency's history cameras were allowed inside their east side laboratory for a behind the scenes look at their technology. Technology that has set the standard in missing persons forensic techniques. It's very emotional uh, at times, but uh, uh, the sense of service is there. Since the September 11th attacks, the office has developed groundbreaking techniques that have successfully ID'd 1,642 remains from the site, most from bone fragments. Less than a gram is all they need. The race to bring families closure after 9-11 fueled the agency's innovation, which has now helped forensic science organizations around the world identify remains, especially with large-scale disasters. We have gone back to the same bone sample numerous times. In the last 11 times, we may get no DNA profile, but on that 12th times with new technology applied, we may get a DNA profile. That was the case for 26-year-old Scott Michael Johnson, who worked as a security analyst analyst on the 89th floor of the South Tower in the World Trade Center. Nearly 17 years after he was killed in the attacks, using the advanced DNA retesting, the medical examiner's office was able to identify his remains. With the remains of over 1,100 victims from 9-11 still not identified, the chief medical examiner's office assures families who are still waiting for that phone call to not lose hope. We haven't given up. The message is we continue to push this forensic science forward and we're not going to stop until we can identify all these remains. On the east side, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.